guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be talking about the cabin crew assessment day process for Qatar Airways. I'm also going to be talking about what to expect on the assessment day as, as well as I'll be giving you tips as to what you should do so that you'll be shortlisted this time. And also I made a video about how to pass your interview for cabin crew if you want to know about it. I place a link down below in the description box so you guys will get guided. By the way, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to tap the notification bell so you get updates whenever I upload a new video like this. I just want to give you a disclaimer guys that I've done my assessment in Singapore as well as my medicals. However, I just want to let you know that the process will always be the same. There might be a little bit of changes along the way. However, I assure you that it's going to be the same process. So now you are excited to fulfill your dreams and perhaps you have already checked the airline requirements. Maybe you already have a DCV, your photo and your business attire. So the airline assessment is normally a three-day process and normally they will open from dif different parts of the world. So watch out for those announcements guys. You can always check on the website if we are going to your country to have an open day. So what to expect on the first day? So what is a CV submission? Normally, it's the moment where the recruiters would meet all the applicants and you will have the chance to talk to them and you will have to submit your CV along with your photographs. And just to give you an idea guys, the recruiters will only give you 30 seconds for you to introduce yourself or perhaps give them the first impression and also make sure that you look natural on your photograph if you want to know the sample of what kind of photograph you want to submit I'll be showing the photo here so you guys will have an idea and by the way if you don't have a lot of business attire for the three-day process it's okay you can have the same business attire that you had on your photo as well as on your next assessment and by the way, just a heads up guys, make sure you check online as to what time the airline would actually start the assessment day. And also if you are from the Philippines or perhaps some parts of India, maybe you want to come two hours before the expected time because I am telling you by experience, it's going to be a very long queue. So perhaps you want to want to go as early as possible. It's going to be my tip guys. Uh, two hours before the expected time would be very good so you can relax yourself as well as you can prep your makeup for the ladies perhaps you can breathe some air and you can also hydrate yourself and get yourself seated at this time it's going to be a half day process and it's going to be a very long day for everybody so just make sure you go there as early as possible so you can go back home and just wait for their call if you get shortlisted so normally they will call you in the afternoon if you got shortlisted and be invited for the second day assessment process so congratulations you got invited for the second day process so on the second day you'll be expected to go through the three stages that would mean you will have to go through english test arm reach test at the same time group discussion and in my own experience english test would only be about the grammar a little bit of essay writing at the same time i think they just want to check how well you communicate in english so you don't have to worry about that and while you're doing your English test, you will be called one by one to go for an arm reach. You will be asked to reach at least 212 centimeters this time and they will see if you can reach it. Don't worry, they will allow you to go on tiptoes. And also they will ask you if you have any scars or birthmarks and if it's hidden or obvious. And you will just have to show it to them or explain to them if it's hidden. Now tip number three guys, it's okay to conceal them worry that's what I did before and also guys please check on the website of the airline if they're allowing you to have stockings for the ladies just make sure you follow their instructions because in my case I actually was wearing um, stockings before but they asked us to remove them so they can see if uh, how flat flawless our legs are 
if we have any scars at all but you don't have to worry if you have scars like I said you can always conceal them um, there's a lot of very nice very good concealers in the market nowadays it's not like before that it's really very hard to have your own skin tone so just make sure you cover it and make sure it's not very obvious guys and so after everyone is finished with their exams and their reach tests, they will ask everybody to go out of the room and they will start deliberating as to who's going to be staying for the next stage, which is the group discussion. Now, based on my experience, there are only 70 of us who were called to do the assessment process. However, during the this group discussion, we were only down to 30. So what do you expect in a group discussion? Now in a group discussion, normally it would depend on how big is the group. But in our case, since there were only 30 of us, they divided us into three groups. So there would be around 10 members in one group. And so they will also give you an instruction as to what topic you're going to discuss as a group. So in my own experience, um, what they actually did to us was um, they gave us pieces of paper with words on it. They distributed it to everybody and what we have to do is just discuss it whatever words that we found on the piece of paper and discuss it with the group now I'm gonna give you an example as to what I got during that group discussion I'm so glad I actually kept it guys and this is the one so there you go you got the information now and what you need to do this time is just explain and discuss whatever you know about that person now during the discussion guys, make sure you communicate to your other members as well as listen when somebody is talking. Do not overpower anybody if you know a lot of things and also be respectful. Remember your recruiters are actually going to observe you as to what you're doing and if you're very respectful to the other applicants. And so after the discussion, they ask us to go in the front by groups and say whatever we saw on our piece of paper and we have to explain it to them what we know about this person. This is also their way as to how good you communicate with other crew members and also if you got the instruction right. And after the discussion, they will ask you to go out of the room again and then they will let you wait for the results. Now the third stage of the assessment process will be the final interview. If you're lucky, they will give you another piece of paper to fill out and you will have to put your details in there if you reach the final interview. And normally, based on experience, normally the final interview will only be done on the third day. But in my case, um, we were given a chance to do it on the, in the afternoon since the recruiters still have time for us. And also, there were only 15 of us who got selected to do the final interview. So it was actually an achievement already that we reached the final interview. Now, I want to give you another tip for you to ace your final interview this time. I want you to research about the airline and the culture that we have. I want you to look for the possible questions that recruiters can ask you and try to practice your answers. Also, if you want, you can memorize your answers, but please don't sound too scripted this time. And also, please be confident with your answers. And, just, and I just want to give you a tip, guys. I memorize all my answers. So there you go. You got the expectation now for the cabin crew assessment day process for Qatar Airways. And after two to three weeks of waiting, normally they will email you if you pass the interview process or not. And after that, they will give you a medical form for you to complete yourself. <laughs> Are we all good? I hope I got you inspired by the video that I just made. And remember, you can always learn from the mistakes of others so you don't have to go through them again. I hope to see you again next time, guys. And remember to always follow your dreams. Bye for now.